Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Ritz. Today is a very exciting day because we have a brand new 2023 Newmar Supreme Air 4051. So one of my personal favorite units here. We've got a 505 horsepower Super C that measures 41 feet, two inches long, has the tandem axle with the bigger towing capacity. Really just a cool unit. So before we start walking around the inside, let's talk about the outside. We're gonna start with this beautiful Haven full body paint. No stickers, decals, graphics that are gonna clear or uh, fade and crack over time. On the exterior, we are also going to have standard, the Gerard Nova awning package. Now with the Gerard Nova awning package, we're gonna have two integrated rooftop awnings, which can be controlled by the remote. So they're coming out now. There's also controllers underneath and controllers inside. With that, we also get the Gerard window awnings that come out and keep the sun from beating into the coach, as well as all of our slide out toppers are going to be Gerard. So as those come out, let's talk about some of the stuff that we can't see up on the roof while we got a little downtime here. So up there, we have the WineGuard SKM100. That is going to be a stationary satellite for DISH network. We control that inside and I'll show you as we get up there. I actually have it turned on right now so you can kind of see it up on top there. This particular coach, we did have the or add the option of the four 100 watt solar panels. We'll get more into that in just a little bit. And then on these 40 foot Newmar Supreme Airs, we have two 15,000 BTU air conditionings to cool this down with heat pumps in them so you do get an additional heat source. Now, one of the most exciting things about this coach is it is actually available. Um, as of, I think it's 1026 today at about 10 a.m. This coach is available and just about ready to leave here and go to its new home. So we have these two awnings fully extended now. So Gerard Nova awnings, they are a dual pitch awning. Power extend, power attract with wind sensors and LED light strips built into the bottom. So with the remote, I just turned on these LED light strips. Now you can have high, low or off on those. Um, just kind of a nice ambiance lighting there. So we'll walk around the exterior first and then we'll head inside. I'm gonna start up here with a nice big storage compartment. Now Newmar did a great job this year by redesigning some of their storage. Not only did they redesign the bay doors, well, we'll get into bay doors in a second here, but they moved some of our utility stuff over to the other side, giving us more storage here on the patio side. Right here, we've got our store or uh, Oasis Chinook hot water or hydronic heating system. So this is gonna be our heat as well as hot water. Now with this, we can run this off of either diesel fuel, which is what I have it running on now. We'll talk about that more in a little bit or electricity, just depending on what you have available. Now behind this little cover here, we've got the HWH hydraulic pump. It used to be exposed, but it's stuff that really no one should be messing with except for certified technicians. So we went ahead and covered it up. New for 2023, we have the option for the Dometic CFX refrigerator freezer on a tray. Now this tray extends out a long ways because there is a slide out here that is currently in, but this is a dual power refrigerator freezer. So you can use it on 110 volt or 12 volt, just depending on what you have available. You can set the temperature, temperature to be whatever you want. So if you want it as a beer fridge, you can set it so it's not freezing. You want it as a popsicle fridge, you can set it so it is freezing. Pretty simple there. Next compartment, we've got our pegboard. Now, the reason this is just a pegboard and not a deeper storage is directly behind this is our 150 gallon hot water, or our 150 gallon fresh water tank. And then we have the low point drain for that directly below it. So then when it comes time to winterize, open that up, it's gonna drain all the water out of that tank. Now, as far as this chassis goes, we've got the Freightliner M2112 chassis. Now back here, that's gonna be a 285 inch wheelbase chassis. And then this is a true twin screw. So this is actually eight tires back here. And both of these are going to be drive axles. Coming back, we'll get into some of the Newmar specific stuff. So Newmar is the only Super C manufacturer right now who is giving us a pass through storage. Now with this one, we did add the tray. On this tray right now, you're gonna see a couple things. First, we've got the toolkit for our central vacuum system. 
We've got a couple extra tiles in case we would ever drop something on one, crack one, break one. We have tiles there so that your technician can easily put it in. Over on the right side here, we've got a couple power outlets that are open. So if you need power on the exterior of the coach, we have three right here. These are going to be the controllers for those two Gerard Nova awnings up on the roof. To the left, we've got the RoadVac central vacuum system. Now there is a port there, so if you want to plug in that central vacuum toolkit out here, you actually can vacuum out your bay doors, vacuum out your tow vehicle, um, whatever you need. We do have that a bit available to you on this coach. Now, for 2023, Newmar redesigned its bay doors, but more importantly, they redesigned how these doors seal. So I want you to go back and kind of watch some of our 21 and 22 videos and watch how we close the bay doors on these Newmars. Basically, we had to have our hand right here at the latch and it took some power to do it, okay? Now, for 2023, because they redesigned this, these bay doors are nice and easy to close. Newmar has always had the hardest bay doors to close just because they seal them so well. They redesigned it, made it a little bit better, and didn't lose their sealing capability there. Um, awesome new design for that. Really helps out with the functionality of the coach. Coming back, more storage on the back side here. Now we do have a light switch here for our exterior lights and then pull handle which opens up this rear cap. Now when this rear cap opens up we do get some storage trays in here. I think this is a great place for maybe some emergency supplies, road triangles, an extra belt, a couple extra quarts of oil, whatever you need. And then down below we get this very very deep storage if you're the kind of person who wants to carry a collapsible ladder. I've seen people who could put golf clubs in there. Any of your long items, you do have a great storage space right there. Now, down below on the Newmar Supreme Air, we do have a receiver with a 30,000 pound towing capacity. With that 30,000 pound towing capacity, we also get a 3,000 pound vertical weight capacity. Now, I have these kind of laying here. This is what comes standard with every Newmar Supreme Air. So you've got the Gen Y receiver here. For those of you who are just going to be towing a vehicle um, and just need a two inch receiver, boom, Newmar throws it in there with that Gen Y receiver. So the Gen Y receiver has a two and a half inch receiver tube. This is going to be a reducer from a two and a half to a two inch for your flat towing or smaller trailer needs. Now next, we're gonna, next we have this receiver here now this is a two ball receiver. On this side, we have a two inch ball with a 16,000 pound capacity. And on this side, we have a two and five sixteenths ball with a 32,000 pound capacity. So if you're pulling the bigger trailer, we have the ball available for you. And it's just gonna slide right into that Gen Y receiver. Now, the cool thing about that Gen Y receiver is it gives you some different functionality and height. So you get more flexibility in terms of the height of your ball than you do with just a standard uh, one slot receiver. But big takeaway, 30,000 pound towing capacity. We're set up to flat tow, we're set up to tow big trailers. Over on the right side there, we do have the prep for uh, your air brakes. If you're towing a vehicle that, or a trailer that has air brakes, we are prepped for that. To the left, we have a Voyager camera set up. So if your trailer has uh, cameras on it. We can display those cameras on the screen. We also have our seven pin connection for trailer brakes and trailer lights. We also have a four pin connection if what you're towing just need lights, needs lights. So one thing I really love about the Newmar Supreme Air is when you close that compartment, how well it fits back into this rear cap. You almost can't tell that that thing even opens up there. Now we have a full fiberglass rear cap. LED tail lights, mark lights, reverse lights, and docking lights. A camera on the back, which is going to be a backup camera. We can change the angle of that three different ways. So if we want to look down directly at that hitch while we're backing up to a trailer, be able to see what's going on there. We also have kind of a uh, wide angle so we can see what's on the sides of us while we're backing up. And then we can also shoot it way back to see what's out farther away. Now, standard on the 2023, Newmar Supreme Air is going to be the OmniView 360 camera setup. So this coach has a total of six cameras. So we've got the backup, one on either side, 
looking straight out, our blinker cameras, and then one on the front. I'm gonna show you all those once we get inside the coach, but just keep that in mind. On the other side, on the passenger side, we've got more storage. Now up here on the right side of this compartment, we have a 50 amp plug there. That 50 amp plug is gonna be used to power other trailers. So if you're towing a big stack stacker that needs power, you can actually use that 50 amp plug to pl uh, power it with the help of your Onan 12,500 watt diesel generator. And that 12,500 watt diesel generator does run directly off the 100 gallon diesel fuel tank that is located in the front of this coach. We'll get there. Coming forward, just a little spot here, some hose storage for that gray and black tank hose. And then while we're kind of back here, let's go ahead and look up again and see the other side of those Gerard awnings. So on your passenger or driver's side, you also have two window awnings. They're gonna cover your two major windows. Now every window on this coach is going to be a dual pane tinted window. So it's already pretty good in and of itself at keeping the heat out, but having this to keep the sun from beating into the coach really does help out a lot, keeping it cool on those hot summer days. Back, back to the coach here. So Newmar Water Bay, obviously we get the stainless steel backing panel. Now, one thing I love about this is all of our wording and everything is actually etched on there. It's not a sticker, it's not gonna come off. We're not gonna forget what's going on there. Now, in this bay, we've got a hot and cold exterior shower, a water hose reel, so that's gonna be a manual extend power retract. So pull it out, hook it up to the spigot. When you're done, push this button, sucks itself back in there. Whole house water filter gray and black tank dump valves. Now, the gray and black tank do have electric dump valve, or I'm sorry, let's go back over here real quick. Gray and black tank rinse for sanitize, sanitizing. And then the gray and black tank do have electric dump valves. So push the button, it opens those valves up. You can be away from it and not even, uh, not even worry about getting gross. Down here, water supply valve. And then we've got the touch screen. On this touch screen, it's gonna show us our fresh black and gray water levels. We can turn on and off our exterior lights and we can also start and stop the generator. And then new for 2023, we have the tilt mode. Now what's cool about the tilt mode is it's just gonna help or make gravity help dump your tanks. So what's gonna happen, you hit that tilt mode button and the entire coach is gonna start leaning to the left using the airbag system underneath the coach. Really just helping, uh, having gravity help clean those tanks out keeps everything a little bit cleaner and does a better do job dumping. Now with that, we also have the RV SantaCon that is going to be a macerator pump. Those macerator pumps come in handy when you're not in a level situation. You know, some dump stations just aren't level for whatever reason. That's actually gonna pump out your gray and black tanks rather than just letting gravity do the trick. Moving forward here. We've got a 50 amp power cord also on a reel. So 50 amp power cord and the length of this cord is actually 50 feet. But again, it's going to be a manual extend power retract. So pull it out, push the button and away she goes. And then in my mind, the most exciting thing of the 2023 Numar Supreme Air is we have the option for the first time of lithium batteries. So when I ordered this coach, I did go ahead and put the lithium battery package in there. So what that gets you is the two Lithionics 320 amp hour lithium batteries, total of 640 amp hours. And then over here on the right side, we get two Xantrax 3000 watt inverters. Now the benefit of having two 3000 watt inverters is it actually gives us the ability to run one of our air conditionings off of the inverter power with no additional power source. So we don't have to have shore power, we do not have to have the generator. Now I'm not completely sure how long you can run that air conditioning off of these batteries. I haven't personally done the math, but this is more of a temporary solution or if while you're driving down the road, you have a guest sitting in the back there, you can have an air conditioning on for them. And while you're driving down the road, your alternator is gonna be charging these batteries to keep that air conditioning running. So really, really cool setup here. One of my favorite parts of this is actually this never die battery management system over here. 
So the benefit to this never die system is it's going to save you from killing your coach. So what's gonna happen is if these batteries get too low, if they hit 10% of their power capacity, this is just gonna shut them off. And then over on the right side there, there's a button that you come out and you push and it kicks everything back on. So where this saves you is let's say you step away from the coach for the afternoon. You forget to turn on your generator, the park loses power, whatever, life happens. When you come back, everything is not going to work in this coach until you come out, hit that blue button and everything will come back alive and then you don't have to worry about trying to find a way to get these pa power back to these batteries right away. So push the button, start your generator, it'll start charging or start the engine, it'll start charging. Makes life easy, great safety feature there on that lithium battery pack. This compartment is just going to be the battery box for our chassis batteries, just our three 12 volt chassis batteries. Nothing too exciting there. And then the big compartment. So in here, we've got a 100 gallon diesel fuel tank. The M2112 does not come with saddle tanks. We are just gonna have a solo 100 gallon diesel fuel tank. Over here, we also have the glycol for that Oasis Chinook system for our hydronic heating, and then a six gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank tucked right next to that air, uh, fuel tank. Just the front side of that fuel filter for the generator. Up above there, easy maintenance item stuff. All right, so before we start talking about the chassis on this Newmar Supreme Air, one thing I love to point out, because Newmar is the only one doing it still to this day, they started it in 2020 with the Newmar Supreme Air, they are still doing a full air ride cab on this coach. So basically, this entire area up here floats to give you a more comfortable, stable ride while you're driving down the road. It makes it feel more like you're driving a Class A diesel pusher, less like you're driving a dump truck. Um, great option or great feature that Newmar innovated and made possible for us, and it's one of my favorite things about the Newmar Supreme Air. Coming up front here, the Newmar Supreme Air is powered is powered by a DD13. That is a 12.8 liter Detroit diesel, which produces 505 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. On the back side of that, we've got an Allison 4000 TRV transmission that is going to be a six speed automatic transmission. That's what's gonna give us that torque output. Now, what I love about Freightliner chassis and really just Super Seas in general is all of our maintenance items are very easy to access. So right here, let's just say we're going through a pre-trip, right? Right here, we can look, we got power steering fluid, awesome. Engine oil dipstick right there. Engine oil fill if we need it. Check and make sure we have coolant. Easy to see with that big coolant reservoir right there. Let's go around to the other side. Windshield washer fluid right there. Now, the thing that we, everyone loves about Super C's is we get all those maintenance items easy to access, but the more important thing is the safety side of things. Look at all this frame rail and bracing up here. If you were in a front end collision for some reason, you actually have something to stop you before you get to it. I'm gonna close this hood up. Freightliner M2112 hoods are gas prop assisted hoods. So rather than having to hold on to this thing as it sets itself down, it actually requires me to push a little bit on it, which is a great safety feature to not tear your shoulder in half. Now, standard on the 2023 Newmar Supreme Air, we get the Caliber C9 grille with this beautiful inlaid Newmar logo. Right above that, that is a front-facing camera. It's gonna show us the ground right in front of our coach. For all of us who have driven in campgrounds before, you know that sometimes you can't see what's going on and you're not paying attention, you forget. And having that in front of us to see what's going on is just a great feature. Down below here, we've got the box for our on-guard collision mitigation system. Now that is going to be adaptive cruise control and emergency braking. That emergency braking will not fully stop you, but it'll at least get you slowed down to avoid a collision. But the adaptive cruise control will speed you up and slow you down with traffic so that you don't have to kick that cruise control off. And I think it's time to go inside the 2023. Actually, it's not. Let's go ahead and get the stock tag real quick. The stock number for this unit is 5N220382. Again, this is a 2023 Numar Supreme Air 4051 that is available on my lot today. 
Now let's go inside. So when we walk inside here, I have all of our slides closed up. I want you guys to see the living space while you're kind of in transit mode, the driving mode. Before we get in there low, let's talk about one more thing. On the new Marsa Premier, we do get power door locks for both our baggage doors and entry door. So there's a couple different ways we can operate this. One and the easiest is we have the keypad here. So we can put a five digit code in here and it will unlock our bay doors as well as our entry door or just our entry door depending on what you need. We can also lock that coach by holding that one button as we're walking out the door. So you walk out the door, shut it, hold one for three or four seconds and it'll lock all your bay doors and your entry door simultaneously making it very easy on you. Now with that we also get a key fob and then obviously we have regular keys to open the door, close all of them as well. New Marsa Premier does come standard with the HWH hydraulic step. Now that step, when it is sitting in a level position, is going to be about an inch off the ground. For those of you who aren't great at getting your legs upstairs, um, makes it a little easier when your first step is only an inch off the ground there. Come on in. Well, the heater works in here, wow. Okay, so as we enter this coach, I'm actually gonna shut the door. As we enter this coach, all of my slides are closed like I mentioned earlier, um, just to show you this living space. Really the only pinch point on this coach, and it's kind of how we designed it, is going to be right here, all right? Now, I'm six feet tall and like 240 pounds, so if, you know, that's just a reference point for you. I can make it through there, um, so most people probably can. Coming back into the bedroom, I still have full access to my king bed. Now, someone requested that I show this. Um, in the video show the bedroom with the slides closed. Newmar does a great job by pretty much giving you full access to the bed. There's about a six inch area right here under this cabinet and under that cabinet where the bed is not usable, but still plenty of room here for two people to sleep in this. If you're just pulling over for the night, you're hitting a truck stop, that kind of thing. As far as refrigerator goes, easy to access. And then the 4051 is a bath and a half model. So we do have access to my half bath here in the middle. And then it's time to open some slides up here. So the 4051 is unique because it is a dual hydraulic slide 40 foot super C, 41 foot super C. So what's gonna happen, this slide is gonna fully extend and then it's gonna drop down and become level with the rest of the floor. And that is fully extended on the driver's side, passenger side pot time. So again, fully extend and then drop down to become level with the floor. Newmar calls this more floor. They introduced it in 2016, I think, um, 15 or 16. And it was really just originally just on the King Air, but it's such a good innovation. They started putting on more and more products. And now everything from the Newmar Dutch Star Up comes with more floor, which gives us this full flush tile floor. But also really cool, the heated tile, or the heated part of this floor, actually extends into our slide out. Something a lot of manufacturers don't do is put heated tile floors in the slide outs. Newmar does do that. This last one extended here. All right, so that's full extension. So Jody, go ahead and let's just pan around a little bit, kind of get an idea of the space here. Now, the way it, we kind of ordered this coach, um, it is set up for just two people to kind of sleep in here. So we've got the king bed in the back and then the recliners here that do not make into a sleeping area and obviously the dinette doesn't. But if you are the kind of person who wants to take some friends, grandkids, kids, whatever, there is plenty of space here in the middle of this coach if you want to throw down an air mattress um, and 
you know, air mattress on a heated tile floor doesn't sound so bad in my mind. So let's go ahead and start with controls before we get too deep into this coach. One thing that I really love that Newmar does is on their Newmar Supreme Air, they actually put a step well cover here. You don't see this often on Super C's, but comes up and is actually flush with the floor. So there's no step down into this. This is a weight bearing step cover. So you can stand on it, it's gonna be okay. But let's say you have your dogs in here, your kids in here, grandkids, whoever. It really helps having that step well cover, especially while you're in transit. You would hate for, you know, hit a bump and send your dog down into there and then have them have issues getting up, whatever. Just great feature by Newmar there. So let's start up top on the left here. We've got our WineGuard Traveler control box. Now that is gonna be that WineGuard SKM100 for Dish Network that is up on the roof. I kind of showed it to you on the outside. This is where we're gonna control it. Wi-Fi Ranger, that is going to be an actual Wi-Fi router with 4G capabilities if you add your SIM card. Going over to the main control panel, we've got our Gerard Nova awning controllers. So that's where we're gonna extend and retract those big awnings from the interior. Again, those are power extend, power retract with wind sensors. Over here, we've got our miscellaneous equipment, driver side window awning and passenger side window awning. Those are gonna be those Gerard awnings that came down over the windows to keep the sun from beating in. Wi-Fi router on and off. Entry lock uh, for this main entry door. Unlock and lock our bay doors. Step cover and then exterior entry step. That's just gonna be a light underneath this step um, to help guide us in. Battery disconnect for when we're putting this coach in storage. Exterior lights, so we have rear security, driver security, passenger security, and patio light. Now, the security lights on this coach can be controlled by that touchscreen panel down underneath in the water bay so that you can see what you're doing out there at night. And then last but not least on that exterior light panel, we have exterior LEDs. Those are actually gonna be downward facing LED lights on the bottom of our slide outs. So that when you're sitting out there at night, you have some additional lighting looking down at the ground. Driver's side and passenger slide outs in and out. Solar panel charger. Really, that's just gonna be a charge controller for those four 100 watt solar panels that are on the roof. Not a lot you need to do with that, but it's gonna tell you the status of your solar as well as your battery levels. And then over to the right here, we have the control pad for our HWH computerized leveling. Now that's when we're gonna do things like dump our airbags, deploy or retract our automatic leveling jacks. And then last but not least in this panel, we've got the HWH master reset switch. So we don't talk much about HWH, um, very reliable system, but basically what it is is your entire hydraulic package here, okay? So on this coach, we have a hydraulic step, two hydraulic slides, and then four hydraulic jacks. That HWH pump controls all of them. If there was ever a failure in that, holding that HWH hydraulic or HWH reset switch for five seconds will do a full system reset and hopefully restore or fix whatever issue you're having. But very reliable system. Um, in the five years I've been doing this, I could probably count on three fingers how many times I've had a problem with an HWH system. Or my customers have had a problem with it. So 4051, bath and a half, 40, 41 foot coach. Back here in the uh, main bathroom, we do have the exterior egress door and the emergency egress door. So just unlock it, open it up, and you're free to jump out of this coach. Now there is a uh, ladder built in to that. So if you have the time to deploy that ladder, you absolutely can. It's just behind a little magnetic cork board there, or a wall board. So pull on it and the ladder will just kind of extend. We did option this coach with the stacked washer and dryer. That is gonna be a Splendid stacked washer and dryer. Over here, electric flush macerating toilet by the medic. And then on the opposite side, we've got a little bit of wardrobe, good hanging storage with four drawers coming down that cabinet. Now, every drawer in this coach always is going to be a soft closing drawer. For that nice high end feel, go ahead and close this up. The other thing that was in that cabinet is going to be a safe. So here, single sink, single undermount sink with kind of that flush drain that looks very res residential, very nice looking. Two bay medicine cabinet 
with two 110 volt outlets built in. Now I love inlaid lights, especially on mirrors. I think it looks awesome. Um, that's gonna be part of your vanity light system there. On the front side of the cabinet, more drawers. Again, all soft closing, all dovetail, dovetail construction. Huge cabinet for all your toiletry storage needs. Now, over to the right, we have a full tile, 35 inch radius shower. Go ahead and hop in here just so you can get a good idea. So we do have the stainless steel um, kind of trim kit in here or fixture kit. So we've got the rain shower head as well as the wand and the assist handle. Over to my left here, we do have the stool that folds down. So if you need some space to sit down in here, it's absolutely possible. And then the containers for our shampoo, conditioner, and body wash over there on the left side of the wall. Beautiful tile shower. Very big upgrade from what we've seen in the previous years of the Numar Super Seas. Coming into the master bedroom, so we're gonna start with just some storage. We get his and hers hanging wardrobes. Now in this one right now, I've got some of the new Mars stuff, manuals bag, a rug, um, just stuff that comes with the coach. In the center, we do have a Samsung 43 inch HD smart TV. So you can actually connect this TV to Wi-Fi, use your streaming services, if you're the kind of person who doesn't want to use that satellite on the roof. Down below, we've got five drawers going across for additional wardrobe. And then last but not least, an AV compartment here. If you want to add a DVD player, or put a satellite receiver in here, this is the compartment we're going to do it in to hook it up to that Samsung 43 inch HD TV. Flipping around, we've got a 72 by 80 radius corner king bed, so an RV king bed, with storage down below. Now, in this storage right now, we've got two folding chairs as well as a leaf for the table. I'm gonna pull those out here in a few minutes, but we'll get to those in just a little bit. But if you don't think you need them, you can take those out and then just open that storage up to use for whatever you want. I'm not gonna open all these cabinets up across the bed, but more storage up above the bed, two 110 volt outlets. And then down below those cabinets, there's actually control pads. So you can control things like lights, locks, doors um, from, on, from laying in bed and not have to get out and do things or not have to get out of bed to go do those things. And we'll talk more about those touchpad control panels here in just a few minutes. Moving into the center of the coach, let's just talk about the half bath real quick. So 4051 actually has a very spacious half bath. Now with this door open, it seems a little tight, but once you close it, very spacious half bath here. Up in this cabinet, we're gonna have we're gonna have all of our fuses and circuit breakers for the coach. So we've got our 110 volt stuff and then 12 volt fuses, as well as our inverter control panels. More toiletry storage. Now this does tuck back here quite a ways. So that cabinet is a little deceptive how big it really is. And then a single bowl undermount sink an additional medicine cabinet behind that backlit, backlit mirror, and more cabinetry down below that sink for additional toiletry storage. All right. So now we're gonna kind of move into the kitchen and we're actually gonna start right here next to the door with our pantry. So again, Kind of deceptive how big this cabinet is because it actually tucks back here a ways, but absolutely huge floor to ceiling uh, pantry here. Now each one of those shelves is adjustable up and down as needed. Now just to kind of reference this, um, I said floor to ceiling. Ceiling height in this coach is 83 inches, okay? So 83 inches from the floor to the ceiling, um, just so you can have a better idea how tall that pantry really is. And honestly, just how tall this coach is and how much headroom we have in here. Coming back just a little bit, we've got the 19.7 cubic foot Whirlpool residential refrigerator. 
Now, one thing I want to point out is I do not have this coach plugged in. I do not have uh, the generator running or anything. And this refrigerator is still on. And that's using one of those two 3000 watt inverters underneath. So for those of you who have never had a residential refrigerator in a motorhome, basically the theory of operation is you're going to use your batteries to run your inverter. Your inverter is going to take that 12 volt power, turn it into 110 volt power, which is then going to turn on your 19.7 cubic foot Whirlpool refrigerator. So if you need a better explanation than that, um, just go ahead and give me a call. I'll talk to you all about it. I'm going to go ahead and actually start the generator now for a few minutes. So moving into the kitchen, let's start up here with an absolutely massive storage unit or storage cabinet with roll out drawers to make it just a little bit more optimal for those of you who aren't tall enough to reach all the way in the back there. We have our power cord for our 1.7 cubic foot Whirlpool convection microwave. And then down below a beautiful solid surface countertop, a little bit of a water block right there. Um, someone pointed it out to me the other day that that's an important thing so you're not dripping water off your counter into your uh, kind of dinette area. Um, so important, never thought of it myself, but those of you who are more experienced in RVing than me, you teach me a lot of really good stuff. Two bowl, single or stainless steel undermount sink. And then underneath these cooktop covers, first let's start with cutting boards, which is just great for those of you who like to pack a little light, you do not have to worry about bringing cutting boards. And then two burner, true induction cooktop that is removable. Now I can't lift anything right now, um, unfortunately, otherwise I would lift that thing out of here and show you that you can take it outside and cook with it, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it or watch any one of my other Numar videos, I promise I pull it out every time. Down below that cooktop, absolutely huge cutlery drawer. Now this is all the stuff that Numar sends with these coaches. Um, probably more stuff in here than you really need. So we've got four Samsung, or three Samsung TV remotes, universal remote, Bose controllers, key fobs for uh, opening and unlocking entry doors and bay doors, touch up paint. A lot of this stuff will end up kind of going out and you can consolidate it down into one or two things. Down below, we've got the dishwasher on a drawer. Now, while this does take a little bit of storage out of play in the new Mars Supreme Air, you can throw pots and pans and such inside of this and travel with them in there for storage. And then roll out drawers down below for additional kitchen storage. And then here we've got more storage. Now very important, Numar throws in a spot there for your sink covers, so that while you're doing dishes and stuff, you don't have to try and find a place for them. Numar thought of it for you. All right, so moving into eating area, I mentioned those two chairs underneath, on uh, underneath the bed there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out and kind of set this up as if we were about to eat a meal with more than two people. So let's go ahead and start with this leaf. This leaf measures just about 12 inches. So you can extend this table by about a foot. You can also add additional leaves if you wanted to. Um, we could order them from Numar and get the same um, cover or the same um, stone as what is on that table there. All right, so this table gets absolutely massive. You know, you could easily have four people sitting here eating a meal, playing cards, whatever you need. Um, one of the bigger tables that I've seen in motorhomes, but super easy to set up. Um, and if you're the kind of person who's gonna entertain often, really you could just leave that leaf in there as long as you want to um, until you need to close your slides up. Coming over to the other side, Storage up across this door side slide out. Really deep cabinets here. Personally, I'd probably use it for additional kitchen storage. And 
And then another option that we put in this coach is instead of doing the hide to bed with an air mattress, we went and did the theater seating. So power extend, power retract, theater seating, incredibly comfortable. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it all the way back. You could actually take a nap in this pretty easily. Now with this, we do have controls here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. All right, so touch of a button on that touch pad there. Uh, directly across from this theater, theater seating, we've got that 50, 50 inch Samsung HD smart TV coming up in front of that window. Now this is one reason why I love televators is if we're not using the TV, that massive window right there lets in a lot of light. But when it's time to watch some TV, we can go ahead and just get rid of it. Um, just a great little feature having televators in these coaches rather than fixed TVs. So I mentioned this touchpad up underneath the bed. So in the new Mars Supreme Air, we have two different control styles, okay? We have the KIB panels, which is this, and then a Silverleaf panel, which we'll get to. So on these KIB panels, we're gonna get some of our basic coach controls. So lighting. Now this one is right next to the door, so it's gonna give me a couple more controls than what the others do. But basically, I can turn all of my lights on and off right here as soon as I walk in the door. Next, we have shades. We have kitchen and living room day shades as well as kitchen and living room night shades. So push one button and all of our night shades are gonna come down completely black this coach out when it's time for bed. Acts as your privacy shades or let's just say you have a headache and don't wanna see light that day. Great, put your night shades down and you can sit in darkness. Day shades are also equipped on this coach, which are going to let the light in, uh, but limit, limit it just a little bit. Still let you see out. Fans. Now, this coach has three overhead fans. We're going to have one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom, main bathroom, and one in the half bath. Those are going to be exhaust fans. All of them can be controlled at any KIB panel on this coach. There are 10 KIB panels, so we, can, we have 10 of these panels around, so we can do this from just about anywhere. Systems. Turn the water pump on. Uh, put that televator up or put the televator down. Monitor panel is going to tell us our power source as well as our battery levels. And then our fresh gray and black water tank levels. Now I didn't mention it outside, but we, I mentioned we had 150 gallons of fresh water, but we have 60 gallons of gray and 40 gallons of black. So 150 fresh, 60 gray, 40 black. And then the last one is just going to be display brightness. One thing I think is really funny and kind of handy there is you actually have operating instructions built in to this screen. So if you forget how to do something on this screen, you can actually just hit the, uh, hit the little indicator up here and it'll take you to kind of a crash course on how to do it. So now we're gonna talk about silver leaf, which is gonna be our more intense um, control panel here. All right, so this is gonna be our silver leaf control panel. So we get a little bit more control here than we do with those KIB panels. So on the home screen, we're gonna see our fresh black and gray water levels, house and chassis batteries, and then our power sources. Now with that lithium battery pack, there's a couple things that change. Notice how on my chassis batteries, it tells me 12.6 volts. Now, some people know exactly how much battery power that really means you have, but a lot of people don't. So in my mind, having it in a percentage with that lithium battery pack really helps understand what the state of your batteries are. So right now, I know my house battery is at 92%, and this only happens with these lithium batteries. With the AGMs, you still just get 12.6 volts. But more importantly, with that lithium battery pack, we get an actual battery page on the silver leaf panel. So it tells me right here, I have 586 amp hours out of 640 possible available, which puts me at 92%. It's telling me how many amps I'm using currently, so I'm using 60 amps, and if I'm charging it or not. It tells me what the battery bay temperature is, what the max it can be, and what the minimum it can be. And then it tells me right here how many hours I have left of battery power at my current state. So right now I have both of my inverters on, I've got my furnace on, uh, I've got my refrigerator on, 
trying to think, and a bunch of lights. So right now it's telling me that I have nine hours and 45 minutes in this current state before I have a dead battery. And that's assuming that I get zero charge, okay? Now I mentioned we have 400 watts of solar on the roof that is gonna be charging this. That's why this nine hours and 41 minutes is kind of just up and down, up and down. Um, it's trying to work itself out. But with these lithium batteries, it's very easy to understand the state of charge of your batteries. Very easy to understand what is going to happen or when your batteries are gonna die and when you need to charge them. So going back into the main silver leaf panel, AC power, this is going to let us turn on and off our inverters, tell us what power we're using. DC power, this is gonna give us the state of your batteries again, so 91% still. And then tell us if our chargers are on and off. Now those chargers are the ones built into the inverter, really it's not gonna do anything for us unless we're plugged in or running the generator. Generator screen, so we can start and stop from here or we can set our auto gen start settings. So auto gen start is basically a safety net. If you were leaving the coach for an extended period of time and want to make sure your batteries didn't die, let's say you have your dog in here, um, you know, whatever, you can set this generator to turn on when your batteries get too low or if it gets too hot in here. So we can set it for either battery level or um, temperature. Water, bay, or water page, just fresh gray and black, and then water pump on and off. We also have auto fill. So if you're getting ready to leave the next day or something, you could push a button, it'll rotate that valve in the water bay, fill up your tank, and then just shut it back down uh, once it's full. Climate controls, so we have cool auto heat. All of, our, um, all of our settings can be controlled in zone. So again, we have two 15,000 BTU air conditionings. That's gonna be living room and bedroom. But as for heat, we can do living room, bedroom, or bath. The Oasis controls here, Click on that. So I have the burner on right now. I'm actually going to turn it off because it's hot in here. But burner, electricity one, electricity two. You can e use any one of these by themselves or you can use them all together if you're in really cold temperatures. Now for uh, climate, down in the bay, we do not actually get bay control on the Newmar Supreme Air. But in that water bay, if it hits 40 degrees in there, it will go ahead and turn on the heat, the heat down there just to make sure that if you're out winter camping, you're not freezing up your water bay. Block heater, this is going to turn the plug on and off. Back to that battery page. Oop. Coach mode, really just kind of tells us what's going on. And then floor heat. So we get front, middle, and rear floor heat. There's 12 settings here. I'm not gonna go through all of them. But basically, each one of these bars represents two minutes in a 20 minute cycle. So if I go to one, that uh, floor heat is gonna be on for two minutes, off for 18. If I go to two, on for four minutes, off for 16. If I go to three, on for six minutes, off, on for six minutes, off for 14, etc. So basically, if I go all the way up to the top, we'll have consistent floor heat. Um, for those of you who have never had floor heat, if you leave it on consistently, it will cook you out of this coach. Very effective heating system right there. But you can control it in zone, so front, middle, rear, just depending on what, uh, where you are and how you want it to be. You can have it warmer in some areas, cooler in others. And then we can do things like turn lights and on and off, operate our shades and TV lift, unlock and lock our doors. But a lot of that stuff is easier from the KIB panels rather than trying to use the big silver leaf panel. Now in the Newmar Supreme Air Cab, we do get a little bit of additional storage. and pretty much just a mirror on the opposite side. And then we also get this big, beautiful window. Now this window does have a shade. So if I drop down into the cab here, I can go to shut that off to keep the heat from coming in. Now that is a shatterproof window, so you don't have to worry about a rock coming through it or something. A bonded shatterproof window. And then that's pretty much gonna drop us into the cab of this new Marshall Premier. So I did throw this up um, just so you could see kind of what the screen looks like. Unfortunately, with Super C's, we don't get that big power screen like we do on Class A's and New Mars, but it's super easy. We've got snaps going around. And then basically on the front here, there's just a hanging rail. 
that just pops off. Now I'm not going to finish taking it all the way off. You guys don't need to watch me move around that way. But um, down here in the cab, you know, Freightliner M2112 chassis is kind of very simplistic. It's, and that's one of the things that we love about it. So we're going to go ahead and actually fire this coach up. So first things first, SCI steering wheel. This is not standard on the uh, Freightliner chassis, but Newmar adds it just to give it that little bit higher end feel. In the middle, we've got our chassis horn or our city horn and then up up, we've got an air horn. So if someone's in your way, get them out of your way using this one. Over on my left side here, we've got our speed controls. So master switch for our cruise control, set, accelerate, resume and coast down below and then headlights on or just our marker lights on. Over here, we've got a marker light interruption switch. So if you're passing a truck or if a truck is passing you and you wanna to indicate to them that they are past you, you can go ahead and just hit that. It's gonna flash your lights at them, let them know that he's clear. Automatic traction control here. That's just an override. And then there is a switch here called shutdown override. So this is an important switch. If you were ever having an issue and let's say the truck went into limp mode, um, you broke down on the side of the road, it shut you down, whatever happens. Um, if you are in an unsafe situation where you need to get out of there, this shutdown override is going to allow you to restart that engine to get yourself into a safe position. This isn't meant to drive, you know, to get you to a dealership or a service facility or anything. It's just meant to get you out of that unsafe position. If it shut itself down, it's probably going to be in limp mode and not to let you go more than five or 10 miles an hour anyways. But that switch is there. Very important safety feature. Here we've got the touchpad for our six speed automatic Allison 4000 transmission. So really simple drive, neutral, reverse. Now, if I go to reverse, I do get the backup camera automatically on the screen. Notice we do have grid lines to help guide us. Coming back over to this touchpad, we got a up and down arrow that's going to be that's going to limit the gear that we can go to. So if I put this coach in drive right now, I have a six and a one. OK, so the six on the left is the top gear that I can go to. The one is the gear that I'm currently in. OK, so if I shift down now, it won't go over first gear and I can go one, two, three, four, five. So let's say we're coming down a hill and we want to use engine braking. We could go ahead and put it in four and then it will not go over fourth gear to give us the max engine brake pressure. And then mode switch, basically that's gonna take us out of economy mode and put us in performance mode and give us 300 more RPMs before the transmission is going to shift. Power windows in the cab, uh, mirror heat switch and power door locks, parking brake release and trailer parking brake release. If you're using those glad hands on the back, the airlines on the back for a trailer with air brakes, that's how you release the trailer air brakes engine brake on and off on the new Mars Supreme Air, we do get a two stage engine brake so we have a high and low light test switch now this used to just be on the Cascadia so it's really exciting to have it on M2s but basically I push this button it's gonna start sequencing all the lights on this coach so that we can just walk around and verify that all of our lights are working now with that it works with trailers as well so if you have a trailer plugged in we can check all of our trailer lights right uh, just by hitting that one switch parked regen switch something most people won't ever have to use because it does it automatically but if you're just idling your coach for a long period of time you can go ahead and do a parked regen inner axle lock so that's going to lock our two drive axles together house battery and chassis battery boost so if one of our battery banks die we can use power off of the the other battery pack to get that one started generator start and stop courtesy lights which is going to be lights down below to kind of light up a walking path docking lights that's going to be rearward facing leds that gives you the ability to or just lights up what's behind you while you're backing up cab ceiling lights that shade up and down for that big panoramic window above me and then um axle lock uh wow axle locking differentials so we can lock our differentials together to get all of our wheels set in the same speed for maximum traction and then last but not least we have a momentary switch here basically what that's going to do is dump all of the air out of our rear airbags um, if we're backing up to a trailer and the trailer can't get high enough, we can dump the airbags, gain a couple of inches there. Or when it's time to level this coach out, we can drop the rear down. But with HWH hydraulic leveling, it does it automatically, so there's really no need to do anything there. Up top, that's going to be our controller for our on-guard collision mitigation system. So I mentioned earlier, that's going to be adaptive cruise control. 
Now, it's also an emergency braking, so if it senses that you're coming too fast at something, an object, a vehicle, it's gonna actually give you a brake. Um, it's gonna actually brake for you. It's not going to stop you, but it will slow you down significantly, and hopefully by then you'll realize what's going on and be able to take over and react accordingly. Down below here, we have the X8 9-inch screen with Navingo navigation. So what's cool about Navingo navigation is we can actually set the parameters of this motorhome. So we know that we're 101 in, 101.5 inches wide. We know we're 13 feet, two inches tall. We know we're 54,000 pounds GVWR. And we know that we're 41 feet, two inches long. So we could actually set this to all those parameters and then it will not take us down a road that we can't make it down. Or they'll do, it, do its best to route us around that. Now, the other cool thing with this is we can actually change what routing style we want. So for those of you who like to take kind of country roads, you know, do some two lane back roads driving, you can set it for that. For those of you who are in a hurry and just wanna hit the highway, you can set it for that as well. Go back to the menu here. AM, FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM. And new for 2023, we actually get Apple CarPlay built into this dash radio so you can use your navigation on your phone as well you can use you know all your streaming services for music and such on your phone using apple carplay on this dash radio now go back to our camera screen here so this screen right here lets us walk through our cameras on the 2023 new mars premier so i mentioned that we have three different angles on that backup camera so if i hit that one it gives me kind of a wide angle farther out view so if i'm backing into a deep campground it gives me a long view back. This is just our standard, kind of halfway between looking down and looking out, and then the hitch view. So this is basically you looking straight down on that hitch, makes backing up to a trailer just the easiest thing in the world. Now with the other cameras, directly out the left side, directly out the right side, oh look at that forklift. Directly out the back, directly out the front, both sides combined, sides and rear combined, all four combined, and last but not least, we get the, th the 360 camera, which is a combination of all of our a combination of all of our cameras built into one. So oh, I think that's gonna do it for my walkthrough on the 2023 new Mar Ah no. Let's talk about these seats. One second, one last thing. So in the cab here, we do get a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And air ride seats so if you need to adjust the level of comfort on this these seats you can move them up and down as needed or you can adjust your lumbar using air with that being said um i have a video published we're gonna put the link out there um in the comments or something there is a video where i take a 2022 new mar supreme air on a pretty long test drive um, i did it last year and it's a great little video so if you're interested in that We'll post that link in the comments. And then tomorrow, I think we're actually gonna do another test drive video. We're either gonna take this coach up a mountain or we're gonna go and grab that Renegade Explorer and take it up the mountain. We're trying to decide which one we're gonna do, but stay tuned for that as well. If you guys have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call. My name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303 482-6375 and my email is brian.moritz at transwest.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week.